Hey everyone, it's Patty with Get Personal with Patty, and welcome back to my channel. So this is the Livered Planner. Last year's, oh this year's, this year's, this year's cover. And what I do with this is I do my weekly check-ins and my overall financial picture. So I use the Budget by Paycheck workbook for joint and fixed expenses. And then I use the box set for my personal checks that go into my personal account. But that covers all variable expenses, groceries, dine out, my own personal spending. And that also covers some credit card payments and all sinking funds for the household. So I like to keep two separate books because for me personally, it just keeps me focused on paying bills out of one and fixed expenses and then variables and sinking funds in the other. Now coming up um, today, next week, and definitely for October, there are some different changes. Um, as you know, if you've watched my channel, I left a full-time job to take on two part-time jobs. Um, the full-time job treated me well for the last four years. Uh, the last year, the last few months, um, I felt I was in a uh, mental abusive situation and wasn't getting the support that I needed. So I <clears throat> got a new opportunity and I'm happy with that opportunity. So um, I'm glad to be moving forward work-wise and not be so stressed out. So it you know, will put a little change in my financial picture and I'll be able to see what that means um, hopefully by the end of this weekend as well. It, you know, it might take a couple weeks just to kind of catch up and see where I can put money. So my first paycheck from one of my part-time jobs should be today. And then my first paycheck from the other job will be bi-weekly. So that'll be next Friday and then two weeks after that. So that will be all coming to you in October. But now let's just do a weekly check-in. And we're checking in from 9, 10 to 9, 16. So that gives you like an overall. This is the September calendar. I use these stickers, budget stickers from Carajo Plans. I have a little key of everything of when I spend money. I try to track it as soon as I spend it. For me, that makes it easier for me to do this weekly check-in at the end of the week. I've also set up my calendar, as you can see, it's going from Friday to Thursday, which is my pay week. I do get paid weekly, at least one of the part-time jobs now, so I have converted October back to that setting. I like the Friday through Thursday. I look at this and I think I don't have to figure out where anything is. I know that I've spent all these budget stickers so I can go ahead and do that. And then I've created on the where you would normally see the hourly page, I've created a weekly check-in page. Now on this one, you'll see it's always quite intense because usually the second and the fourth week is when we get paid from my husband's business. So there's extra money that comes, income that comes into play here. And that's why you see all these expenses. On well, the second week is when my mortgage gets paid as well. So what I do up here is I put in my income. This is this is total week three because I remember I transfer my, usually my last week pay in the previous month goes for the first week in the current month. So this is why 9, 10 to 16 is really my pay week three. So my income was my last check for my previous job and then my premium assistance, money that we transferred from the business, and then I also had a cushion. Um, and then uh, I also included, because 915, we got the tax-free credit, I also included that as income. So what I really should do is total all this. So let's see, that was 356. 
200 cushion and then 250. So we had a total of 4,000, two, three, one, four, one. And that's not weekly because again, the, the money from the business is only bi-weekly. So that's why I keep separate books, but this is overall what we had to spend for the month. I mean, for the week, for the week. So the cash envelopes comes out of my paycheck, but I know this is why I put that here. And this is really where we are like watching out what, especially groceries and dine out, which seems to be in everybody's budget is higher or, you know, you don't feel like cooking. So you get takeout and then takeout ends up being 30 bucks. And so I'm really cautious of how often we do takeout because you know it can just be sometimes a little much so as you can see the patterns uh, this yellowish is what dine out or represents food takeout and you can see it's not really that much you know the first week it was you know a, a Sunday and a Thursday the second week was a Friday Sunday now we do breakfast every Sunday out so that is you can see is consistent so like Friday, Sunday, and then a Monday, which is surprising that we did that. Oh, it was the holiday, that's why. So kind of could kind of figure that out. And then this past week, we did Friday, last Friday, we did sushi. And then we did do Saturday dinner out. And then Sunday was breakfast. And then not until again till last night, which was pizza. And that's exactly what I mean. Like pizza was $28. So tonight um i think we'll eat something that's home or i have to go get a few groceries at all these today anyway so i think i might get something for dinner and then we probably will get dinner out saturday breakfast sunday is my guess and then the rest of the week is you know we'll, we'll meal plan and figure that out as well so so this is the week that we're checking in on so I've already put all the stickers down because I do this daily when we spend the money. All this orange you see is household. So we had a BJ's run last Saturday. So that was a little high, 147.53. We did a couple of Walgreens. There was some gross, a small grocery haul in here. We got some pumpkin and apples. Um, that was 17, that was household. So this is really the overview of where we spent the money. And I also have listed here sinking funds and what we put in. So we paid our mortgage last week. Um, car insurance was due. So see what I mean? All the big things. Uh, my credit card, I put money toward. I, I finalized my Avenue credit card. Um, with the tax credit, I put in some money into my husband IRA as well as Grace's ABLE account. So my daughter Grace is 10, she has special needs, so I don't have a 529 college fund for her. It's called ABLE, and we do it with Fidelity. An ABLE account you know, allows me to save money for her, and then when she turns 22, it won't. she can get that money and it won't disrupt any other service money that she receives for being um, a disabled child adult. So, the big thing for us, and I say it again, is groceries and dine out. So we budgeted 40 for the week. We spent 35 plus debited 13.87. So total for the month as of now is 101.87. And some people might say, oh, geez, for the month that's all you've spent in groceries. But we do a lot of eat from freezer and pantry goals because we have a lot of food in our freezer and pantry. We just picked up a butcher box it was 149 so that saves us in not spending so much money weekly on groceries so I do do meal plans I try to shop at Aldi's we were just a little cheaper and I'm um, you know I'm not gonna eat just pasta where it's cheap because I'm not a big pasta fan my husband is so we just meal plan and we use our butcher box in between to really concentrate on what our meals are so dine out last week we budgeted 40 we spent 40 and then we debited 28 from the pizza last night and 30 dollars 
So really, we spent forty, seventy, ninety-eight dollars. Um, we have budgeted for the month three hundred dollars, and so far this month we we spent two hundred one. So we we have like a week to go or so. Um, so I mean, in this book, it might be from the first to the thirtieth. So I would say two weeks, and so we still have two hundred dollars left for dying out. But it doesn't mean we have to use it, right? All right, extra child care, we budgeted 75 and I believe we only used 75 and, oh, yes, we have Morgan here, so we 25 and I have to put Morgan here, 25 That's our sitter on Wednesday. So we budgeted 75 for the week, and we did use... Um, 50, so we have, uh, we'll, we'll roll over 25, which is good. And then P personally, which is me, kind of trying to keep track of when I spend money. So I didn't really put in a budget amount, but I did spend 95, 99 this week. And for the total for the month so far, I've spent 179.55. I just want to keep track of that. But that includes, you know, the Budget Mom workbooks were pre-ordered this week. So obviously I bought my Budget by Paycheck workbook as well as the box set. So that's like, it was $99. So that's that. And then I did get my hair done this past week this uh, past month so far in September, and that was $65. So really, I mean, just that 99 plus 65 is 164. So I've only really spent, per, you know, $15 up for whatever, a shake or a coffee or something. So that's not too bad. So this is where I really concentrate on what we're doing. And here I do list out where our money went for the week, you know, mortgage, car insurance, uh, car payments, credit cards, out, you know, credit card, um, Fidelity, paying ourselves syrup, butcher box, gas. We budgeted 40. We used 50. We had a BJ's run in there. Um, household, we spent 35. Pet, we had $10. And I also do a, let me get that on the screen for you to see. I also do a sink and funds deposited update. So even though we Spent money in food and groceries, had a huge week of debited and fixed expenses. We also were able to put things aside in our sinking funds. So that's it. We're doing pretty well. You know, um, I'm feeling a, a small amount of stress as we go into the next week, not really knowing what my paychecks are or what my net pay will be, but it'll all work out. And um, I you know thanks for watching. You know, it's really important for me as I got into this weekly check-in because I was watching other videos on weekly check-ins and it's become really important, important to me to track this way and write it down this way. I've really enjoyed using this leverage planner for that combined finances, the financial overall picture um, and really is for accountability and to keep, you know, a close tab even though... I find budgeting hobby. This my this is my hobby. This budgeting, planning. I'm really glad that I got involved with all of this and watching other YouTube videos out there. Um, but for me personally, it's really just knowing where your money goes. So thanks everybody for watching, and I hope you have a nice weekend. Do something fun. Bye.